Hey guys, this is Raven from Close Enough Cosplay. And today I've got for you a kind of different video. Like, you know how people will do, like, haul videos? Well, I guess this is kind of like a haul video, except it's more like my bookshelf over here, which I'm not showing you right now for a reason, is full of just nerdy stuff. And I kind of want to show you my nerdy stuff. So you can see the types of fandoms I'm in. Which there are five categories of memorabilia that I have. And I will let you know what they are as we go along. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first fandom, I went just by the order of what items I had lined up. So the first one is My Little Pony. Yes, I love My Little Pony. I wouldn't consider myself a Pegasister though. So the first item to show is Big Mac. He is a very tall statue. I can't remember how big he is. He's the biggest My Little Pony thing I have. And he is my favorite pony. I love him so much. I'm not really sure why I like him, but he's just pretty awesome. I wish I remembered. I think this is a... No, you're not a Funko Pop. I don't remember what brand this is from, but oh well. And the next My Little Pony thing I have comes from the My Little Pony blind bags, which you could get at Walmart. The first one I have is little Lily Blossom. She's purple and yellow and she's very cute. And the second one I have is Noteworthy. He's blue and sparkly and I like him because I don't know if you can see that very well. But he has music notes as his cutie mark. And that's why I like him. And these two are just really cute. Okay, so the last group of My Little Pony memorabilia, I suppose, is Funko Pop Mystery Minis. Since I saw them on Awesome Toys TV, I've gone obsessed with them. <laughs> um, I have two that are from Season 2. And the rest are from Season 3. So I'll first show you the Season 2 Mystery Minis. The first Season 2 Mystery Mini I have is Princess Twilight Sparkle. She's very cute. What was the weird thing? Oh yeah, I found it weird that like... You can see where her mane kind of floats off of her horn. And I'm like, that's not normal. Then again, it's not normal to have Unipex as, you know, a real thing. But whatever. And the second season two that I have is the great and powerful Trixie. And you can see she is black. It is not her normal color. And she's actually pretty top heavy. Prestume. Um, Trixie's not one of my favorites, to be honest, but I really like her. She's pretty cool. So now on to the season three Funko Pop Mystery Minis. The first one that we have is Princess Cadence. Ooh. And it was funny, because when I got her, before I opened up her, I actually opened up Queen Chrysalis. Hashtag cancer lot wedding. So, I really like this Queen Chrysalis. I like how it has, like, little holes in her. I wish the legs would be hollow, but, I mean, that's still pretty cool. So, yeah, these two were opened up on the same day, and I thought it was funny. All right, these next two were not opened up on the same day, but I like to call them the evil twins. It got two Mod Pies, normal color and the black color. I like to call this one evil twin. Mod Pie was an interesting character. She was not exactly what you would expect to be Pinkie Pie's sister, but hey, whatever works. Next we have my favorite cutie Mark Crusader, Apple Bloom. I love Apple Bloom. She's cute. Can you tell I have an affinity towards the Apple family? Applejack, I think, is my favorite of the main six. So, there's that. Apple Bloom's just so cute, and I love how determined she is to get her cutie mark. And I know they got their cutie marks already, but look at her. She's so cute. And the last one that I have is Princess Celestia. Look at that. Her eyes kind of weird to me because it's just like, hello there. And then of course you go on this side and it's just like a bunch of mane. Oh, and her horn's kind of droopy, but I like this one. So with this Princess Cadence and Princess Twilight, I almost have the entire Princess collection complete. Now all I'm missing is Princess Luna. Though I'd also accept Nightmare Moon because I really liked Nightmare Moon. So yeah, that is all of my My Little Ponies. So my next category of fandom is Game of Thrones. Woohoo! 
Would that be considered copyright infringement because I was singing it? I don't know. So I don't have many of these. I have five figures total. Three of them are, I don't even remember the brand, they're some figurine set, and two of them are Funko Pops. So let's start with the figurine set I don't remember. The first one is my favorite male, Cal Drogo. Absolutely love him. I know that he was kind of brutal in the beginning, but I mean, I like that they worship horses. That is cool, man. Um, he comes with these little knives, and he has another weapon. But what I hate is he cannot hold on to that weapon. Like, these little holes that are in his fists can only hold these knives. They cannot hold the bigger scythe-looking thing that he has. And the scythe does not fit in this, which is lame. But, you know, you can bend his legs. It's a little stiff. I think you can move his... No. You can turn his thighs. So if he wanted to do the hokey pokey, he'd be great. His arms can move. I don't think he can move. And yeah, there is Cal Drogo. Now, I really do not like the Lannister family at all. They, the Lannisters are not my favorites. But I do have a special soft spot for one particular Lannister. And that's Tyrion. Because he's small, he drinks, and he thinks things. Cool. He also comes with a weapon. It is an axe. But again, his hand is too small to hold the axe. So I'm like, why would they give accessories that are not going to be used because they cannot be held. But I really like Tyrion. The only downside with him, well, let's see. So he cannot move. I don't think he can't bend his knees as easily. He can turn like this, which is kind of weird. His ankle turns really funny. He doesn't bend his knee easy, but the rest of his joints can move around. The downside about him is that one leg is shorter than the other. So he actually has to lean on something in order to stand, otherwise he will fall over. And then we have my favorite character from Game of Thrones, and I am so happy is still alive. And that is Daenerys Targaryen. Woo! -hoo! This dragon is a pain in the butt to stay on. Like, this thing, if you just barely tap it, it will come off. So, I liked Daenerys back whenever she was married to Khal Drogo, because me and Khaleesi, you know, that's cool. And she also has movement in her legs and her arms. Her ha This hand doesn't move because on the first night that I had her, her hand fell off. So she had to have emergency surgery. But yeah. I'd show, her, I'd show you guys her pretty hair, but I'm not going to move this darn dragon. But yep, there's Daenerys. I already own both of these as figurines, but I'm going to show you anyway. First is Khal Drogo. Isn't he cute? And there's the scythe that the figurine has but he can't hold but this can hold it and I like the dark eyes and it's just cute to me I love it and the second one is of course Daenerys Targaryen and she has a dragon in her hand that will stay there I want to check out this hair this is what I wanted to show you I love it these two are my favorite couple out of the entire series even though they didn't last very long but I absolutely love them to death. So yeah, there's my collection of Game of Thrones things. So the third category of random nerdy stuff that I have on my shelf is anime! Yay! As you guys know, I do like anime. And I do not have nearly as many things as I really want to for it. I will tell you each of these items, I have four of them, are completely different. They're different brands, they are completely different characters from completely different shows, and it is just awesome. The very first one I want to show you that I got at Momocon recently is Yune Shinoya from Haikyuu. Look at him, he's adorable. I really want to find the figurine of Asahi Azumane, because Asahi is my number one favorite character. Noya is definitely number two. So it can separate from its stand. And the weird thing is that its head pops off. And that just looks weird, but just shove the head back into the head hole. And there you go. There is Yunisha Noya. The second item that I believe I got from Freecon is Rin Matsuoka. These little figures are so stinking cute. They're so teeny. And if you look very closely, you can see his shark teeth. I don't know if he'll focus on it. Oh, well. Um, 
There's also one of him closing his eyes and laughing, and I'm not sure why. But I would like to collect the rest of these figures. And here's his little inner tube. His name is on it. And fun fact, these will actually float on water. So you guys should give it a try. The next item is one of my Funko Pops. And this is by far the heaviest Funko Pop that I have and the most unstable because of how heavy he is. It is Sebastian McAuliffe from Black Butler. He is my favorite character out of Black Butler and I definitely want to cosplay him eventually. But let me show you this. This head is solid plastic. Mostly whenever you knock on these, they should be hollow, but he's solid. And because of that, and he has a very skinny, light body, so if you mess with him too much, he'll fall over pretty easy. But I absolutely love him. He's wonderful. My final item in the anime category, which happens to be my favorite, is my Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. He was given to me as a Christmas gift by a friend of mine because I actually cosplay as Edward. Edward was the first cosplay I ever did. So this little guy has a special place in my heart. And he's squishy. He has a little string so you could hang him up on something. And you guys will see there's a ribbon on him. I have a necklace tied around his neck that contains a Philosopher's Stone. I got that from the Sakura Sisters at DaisukiCon last year. But let's see, there's also his braid. There's that in the back. And I do believe, there it is, there's his chain for his watch. So, yeah, that is all of my anime stuff. All right, so my next category of random nerdy stuff is Disney. I am a Disney freak. I love Disney so much. It is just wonderful. If you guys see me, I usually am just singing the songs at random. So I have four Disney items that I want to show you guys. The very first one that is definitely my favorite is my Funko Pop of... I actually just saw Big Hero 6 this past spring, and I fell in love with it so much. Baymax is definitely my favorite character, and I actually plan on cosplaying him at Nerdicon this year. So, he is the biggest out of all my Funko Pops. The rest of them usually come to about here, I believe, and he's much bigger. Downside is that he has a hard time standing on his own, so he always has to have assistance with standing. But yeah, there's my Baymax. The second item that I have is another Funko Pop, and it is of Queen Elsa from Frozen. And I know people give a lot of crap for Frozen. I used to hate Frozen before I saw it. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, it's another annoying Disney movie. But it's actually a pretty good movie. And I loved Elsa because I could kind of feel for her about, like, feeling like you need to conceal something and then let it go, be yourself. Love it. So she has a little clear snowflake right there. And there's her braid in the back, and you can see her cape is very sparkly. The third item is from one of my most favorite movies from Disney, and that would be Inside Out. And the item I have is Sadness. I love Sadness. She is so cute, and it looks like she could blend into my shirt. Yeah. Um, she's actually very special, as you can see. If you can see it, she has glitter in her hair. Not all the Sadness figures have that. Um, only the Comic-Con exclusives actually have glitter in their hair. But no, I did not get her at Comic-Con. I actually got her at a store called the Battlegrounds. And they happen to have her left. So, yeah, there is my Sadness. The final Disney figure that I have is not a Funko Pop. It's more of... I think it comes from a blind bag or a gumball machine. I don't remember which. But it is Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Now, I have not seen How to Train Your Dragon yet. The reason I have Toothless is that my brother sent him to me in a care package while I was at college. So, I've been keeping him. He's cute. He's really small. And I can fit my Ren figurine on top of him. Let me show you. Alright, here's Ren. And there you go. Ren can fit on top of Toothless. So he can ride Toothless into battle. Ugh. But yeah, that is all of my Disney stuff. All right, so my fourth category of random nerdy stuff I have is Marvel. Now, some people would put Marvel under Disney because 10... No, did Marvel get bought up by Disney? I don't know. I know Star Wars did. Anyways, so 
I have three Marvel Funko Pops and a Marvel plushie. So let me show you the plushie first. It's my favorite, Captain America. He's so cute. He's my favorite hero, and there's a reason why I say that. So he's really cute. He's really squishy. I think this is a Funko thing, maybe? Yeah, this is created by Funko. So it's not a Funko Pop technically, but it's really, really cute and fluffy and squishy. And now we come to my Marvel bobbleheads. The first one I have is, of course, Captain America. I like wiggling his head around. This is the first one, like from the first Captain America movie. Um, I may or may not get the Civil War figure eventually, but I really like this costume design. Especially the shirt. I don't know why I do, but I love it. The next one is everybody's favorite anti-hero. Deadpool! This is the unmasked Deadpool. So, you know, he's all gross looking, but he's awesome. I actually got him from my brother. My brother does a webcomic called Vinyl Comedy Theater where he sets up scenes using Funko Pops. And De this Deadpool used to be his, and now he belongs to me. So yay! My last Marvel bobblehead, and probably one of my favorites, is my most favorite villain from Marvel, and that would be Loki. His head's a little more wobbly, and I think there's something wrong with the spring, but I love Loki. This Loki inspired me to create my belly dancer Loki. I love the horns. They curve back so lovely, and he's just so cute. How can you say, how can you not see this face and be like, bow down to me, you quivering, you quivering little worms. But yeah, that would be all of my Marvel stuff. All right, so my last group of nerdy stuff is kind of what I just called the others. These are figurines or plushies or whatever that just didn't fit into the other four categories. So with that, let's begin. First little figurine I have, though, I don't think he's considered moot, not moody. I don't think he's considered nerdy, but he's still cute. Is Leche. He is a Tokidoki Mufia. And these are really cute. They are little milk cow characters. Have you seen him? Um, I definitely want to collect more of them, but I haven't because these things are freaking expensive. I mean, just for this tiny figures, like, some places even do $12, which is ridiculous. There's some toy channels that I've seen opening these, and I'm just like, where do you get this money from? Probably YouTube money. Next couple of items are Funko Pops. So the first one I have for you is Severus Snape from Harry Potter. He... Let's see. He was just probably one of the only Harry Potter Funko Pops I really liked. My favorite character personally is Draco Malfoy. And yes, I know he's a whining little thing, but I love him. And come on, Tom Felton is amazing. But I really do love Snape. Like, you think he's such a bad guy in the beginning, but he's really actually very sweet. So that is why I got Severus Snape. Rest in peace, Alan Rickman. Rest in peace. The next Funko Pop I have is Jessica Rabbit from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And yes, there is a piece of plastic glued down on her base because without this piece of plastic, she cannot stand on her own because her head is very heavy. And she has her microphone is kind of bent and funny. But check out all the sparkles on her dress. She actually came from a used bookstore. And this is actually, oh, yeah, her head moves pretty easy too. She is actually a planned cosplay that I eventually will do. I was going to do her for um, Freecon this past year, but I didn't get her complete, so she will be a costume in the future. And the last item, which I guess won't make a lot of sense to some people, is a Tribble from Star Trek. I named him Stanley, and he's fluffy. Here's what he looks like outside the box. He's just very fluffy, hairy, throw him around, whatever. Personally, I don't like Star Trek. I am for Star Wars. The only reason I have a Tribble is because my brother subscribed to Loot Crate, or he used to be. And this is a Loot Crate exclusive, and he just didn't want him. And I was like, you know what? 
He's cute and fluffy, so we're going to keep the dribble. Even though I'm not a fan of Star Trek, I cannot say no to cute fluffy things. And there you go. That is all the weird nerdy stuff that I have on my bookshelf. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below with what nerdy stuff you have. Wall scrolls or figures or plushies, whatever you got. And I will see you guys next Monday. Bye!